So at some point, you're going to want to write in Spanish. And not just write, I mean type in Spanish, and you're going to need to know how to write accents and upside down question marks. So today what I want to show you is in a Windows 10 machine, I want to show you how to switch between an English keyboard and a Spanish keyboard. And to do this, we need to be able to toggle back and forth. So I'm going to show you how to install this little button. And then after that, we'll show you how to write accents. All right. And you can use this in any program that requires typing. So there are a lot of ways, but this is the way that I think is pretty easy. So step one, click on the Windows key. We then want to come up and click on Settings. We're going to scroll over to Time and Language. On the left, we need Region and Language. And then we want to add a language. So you could add multiple languages, but today we just want to use English and Spanish. So we're going to scroll all the way over to the right and find Spanish. And it's listed as Espanol, but it's, it's in the S's. And then when we click on this, we're going to see a whole bunch of different countries because there are some different variations. Personally, I like using the España keyboard, the Spain keyboard. It's also the International Sort keyboard. And when you click on that, you can see on the bottom right-hand corner, we get the toggle switch. So we can now click on this and go back and forth between our English keyboard and our Spanish keyboard. So let's click on Spanish. And now let's write some accents, which is probably the first thing you're going to want to do. So to write an accent, on your keyboard, find the apostrophe key, which is over on the right-hand side. Touch it once and release, and then touch your vowel. Touch the apostrophe key once, and then touch your vowel. And that's all you need to do. Now what if you need an uppercase letter in Spanish with an accent? You touch your apostrophe key once, and then you hold shift vowel. Apostrophe key once, shift vowel. Sometimes you might need the two dots. Not really that often, but to do that you're going to hold down shift, hit the apostrophe key, release, and then your vowel. The next thing is the enye. The enye is right next to the L, where the current colon and semicolon. So you can just click that a couple times. You want an uppercase, we're going to go ahead and hit shift and the enye. All right, if you look at the top of your keyboard, where you see the plus and the minus, if you do shift plus, we're going to get the upside down question mark. And if you do shift minus, we are going to get the right side up. Let's do that again. Or if you just hit the plus, you're going to get the exclamation point and then shift one is normal to get the other one. All right, well, where's the at sign? You use the right alt and two. Hashtag, right alt and three. And then finally, we've got our period, but then shift period is colon, a comma, shift comma, semicolon. And maybe the hardest one to find is shift and two will give us our quotation marks. All right, so now you can go back and forth. You can type anything you want in Spanish, so maybe go down below and type me something with an accent. Suerte.